All right, welcome back. So, uh, this episode is going to be post commentary because OBS decided not to record my audio or the game audio. Um, but we are going to be doing Astral Stare as Horse. Yeah, yeah this. This kind of drained my enthusiasm to <laughs> do this, but um, it's very demoralizing whenever the the recording software doesn't work like how it should. I don't really know what happened, to be honest, because when I checked my settings, everything was still set up correctly. OBS just decided, nah, I'm I'm good. I don't want to record the desktop audio or the mic audio. But, either way. Um, so, I think this hat item that we have here, uh, I don't think can evolve. I might uh, check that now that I <laughs> now that I have the ability to. Um, but, we are doing one particular thing today. Uh, and that is getting a hidden character that you can only get after you have gone through 46 of these doors. Um, and the number carries over between playthroughs, so it won't take very long for us to find her now that we have uh, played this map a few times. Thankfully, this is a 20-minute uh, stage, so it shouldn't be. It shouldn't take too long. But our sort of game plan, I think, is to go mostly all Among Us uh, weapons for this one, just because I want to do that, I guess. So uh, let's see, Vampire Survivors. I'm listening to this like there is no audio right now that I'm able to listen to because I had to re-record the audio. It, it at least re-record one of the songs so it can play, and I'm kind of doing that all on one recording. That way I don't have a bunch of extra um, little recordings, audio-related stuff. Uh, let's see. Is, uh, is there a hat evolution? Hats. Okay, it cannot be evolved. Mini horse will be added to the pool of available items on leveling up as soon as the weapon is maxed out. So I'm wondering if I missed that while I was uh, doing this. Because I did notice that in my collection I'm missing two things. I don't know what they are. So I'm guessing mini horse is one of them. Because there was one missing from the Among Us DLC stuff. We are very close to finishing up all the Among Us DLC characters. Obviously, we have the second version of the Imposter, and that's pretty much it. We're... It's going to kind of depend on when the next DLC comes out or next update comes out. Um, I think it's slated for the end of May. I remember, or not the end of May, early May, I want to say. Um, I can actually check that right now since I have the ability to. Let's 
Operation Guns. Yeah, I couldn't remember what the, uh, the name of it was. I do like all the little animations they have for these. This is pretty much the uh, the homage to Contra. Yeah, this is definitely the homage to Contra. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm watching the uh, the little trailer for it. Yeah, this is most definitely the homage to Contra. Looks good though. And whoever ended up doing the uh, the opening trailer for it did a really good job. Very impressive. Yep, Vampire Survivors. Uh, yeah. Contra DLC, uh, wow, they're not even... <laughs> they're not even hiding it. <laughs> also, uh, also featuring Brad Fang. Okay, that's good. That's cool. I like that. Um, May 9th is when that comes out. Let's see here. So, this uh, episode is coming out on the 24th. So, it looks like we're going to be uh, getting it right as I finish up these last couple of uh, characters here. Um, so, after this... Yeah, yeah. So... If there was no DLC coming out, um, I would have three more uh, for the first three weeks of May. And that would be it for round two of Vampire Survivors. But, so here is the character that uh, we unlocked. Unfortunately, I kind of don't have the music for it, although I could probably get the music for this um, from one of the other episodes that I unlocked a character. It's just more annoying that I have to <laughs> do this, but anyways. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how much that's uh, the new DLC is going to add, but obviously... Um, I intend to play that sort of next. Made in collaboration with the Konami's Contra team. Wow, okay. So they actually... I wonder, did like they ever get legitimized from uh, Contra? Or not from Contra, uh, from Konami? I mean, obviously the entire game is a love letter to Castlevania in particular, but yeah. That's cool, though. I guess it's uh, it's a game that can't be ignored at this point by, by Konami. It's like it's very obvious that they made this game in reverence to Castlevania games. Eleven new characters. Wow. Okay, we're gonna be playing for a while. <laughs> Two forty nine. Not bad. I mean, I don't remember how much the game cost. Now. I got it back when it was like maybe two or three dollars. I think it did increase in price a little, but not like by much. Yeah, it's five dollars now, which I mean that is still a very good deal for the amount of content that you get right out of the right out of the gate. Yeah. Uh, 
I do more than likely. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on my wish list because you know, might as well. I intend to play it. <laughs> so that's gonna take up a bit more of my time. Thankfully, this game is a relatively, relatively easy game to just do once a week and come back. Don't have to worry about forgetting. So we are just kind of hanging out in this little room for right now until uh, we can get one of those tracked orbs so we can pick up all of this. Uh, yeah, there we go. Pick all of this XP up when I decide to head back through the door because I don't think you can get back there once uh, you leave. I'm not sure there's any real way of getting back there. So... Oh... <sighs> A little under halfway. Um, gonna try and keep this as you know interesting as I can given uh, the circumstances, but you know, I'm just kind of looking through the Steam homepage and I just ran across this game called Matriarch, and it's just like, what the. Because the like, it's a multiplayer game apparently. Um, it's apparently a party game, funny conspiracy. Um, but I literally just watched a, a nun get uh, smashed by an upside down cross on top of a pentagram. So you know, take that as you will. <laughs> Cute and spooked. Oh, sorry. Uh, um. I mean, at the moment, it's only one ninety nine. Although that will probably change because it's a weekend sale. I'm a little surprised that the the Tomb Raider remaster is already twenty five percent off. I know it. I think the the reviews were a little mixed, but I'm not sure how much of that is because of the remaster versus. It's Tomb Raider, <laughs> the original Tomb Raider trilogy. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I'm like half paying attention to what's going on in, in the game just because, you know, I've already sat through this once and I mean, we're 67 parts into the series. <laughs> I believe this map is only a 20 minute map compared to uh, the uh, usual 30, which honestly I'm kind of fine with. Victoria, let's see, what's the, uh, the Friday facts? Automating a soundtrack. Today we continue our musical journey. Okay. Sure. I'm curious, uh, what... Uh, what Among Us character do you like the most in this? Or are they pretty much all equal to you? I do find horse to be interesting, if nothing else, because it's visually different from all the others. It does kind of make me think it was just like some random image someone made online, rather than a character in the actual game. But, I guess, you could probably say that for all of them.
It was, uh, I saw online, um, talking about a new game made by WayForward, which was, which is the, uh, the company that does the Shantae series. Um, they're coming out with a new Metroidvania game called Yars Rising, which actually looks pretty, uh, pretty neat. Um, so the the game is based off of Yar's Revenge on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Um, based in based off of in quotes, but obviously there's a lot of uh, liberties taken with it. But it looks interesting. I'm kind of excited to check it out at some point when it uh, comes out. <laughs> If you've ever played Yar's Revenge for the 2600, but it is. It, it's a relatively fun little game. A um, little confusing what's going on. Uh, and, I mean, to be fair, that's to be said about most uh, Atari 2600 games. You kind of had to make your own assumptions as to what was going on because obviously the graphics did not do anything for you in that regard. I actually would really like to uh, to um, do some Atari 2600 games for the channel at some point. In particular, I would really like to do uh, really like to do adventure because I mean it's like one of the first adventure games ever made I, I think that would be really fun to do but um, adventure would be fun at some point maybe pitfall although I was never super great at pitfall um, I'm trying to think of any of the other, like, notable ones that have more than just staying on a single screen. Um, Haunted House. Haunted House is another one that I'd really like to get into and do for the channel at some point. I don't know why the the picture always gets sort of pixelated uh, as it goes on and on. I realize it's probably because of more and more stuff happening on the screen, but like it doesn't. It obviously doesn't look like this when I'm playing it. It only really looks like it in the recording. I really wish I knew how to better get that I mean, to get that to look better you ever go to like down towards the bottom of the uh, steam store page and then you just end up seeing like a bunch of these explicit content type of games. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not really sure why these always end up in the new and trending, but um, I can... I suppose I can guess as to two reasons why. Well, probably multiple reasons, but, you know, two very big reasons why they tend to... Uh, end up here. Yeah. <laughs> don't let the kids go down to the bottom. Just, just don't do it. It's not worth it. Alright. 
we're about 15 minutes in and these things start showing up. So these uh black hole yeah the and that that I I do not like these things. They would be tolerable if their attacks had didn't shift with them. So yeah, as you just saw there, when we moved down a bit to avoid the uh, the attack, the enemy switched its position because it's a boss or it's considered boss, and you got too far away from it, which makes sense. It's it's so that you don't just run away from every boss, but. The problem is, is that its attack is locked to its sprite. So if the sprite gets moved, so does the attack. Which, as you can probably guess, means that if you try and run away from it while um, it's in its attack form to, you know, not die, it's going to take that attack with it and come from you and come at you from a different side and more than like 50 percent of the time you're probably going to run right into it anyways which is kind of bullshit but maybe that's just me maybe yeah it, it, it's kind of ridiculous I, i'm not a huge fan of these things you only have so much time to be able to hit it is the problem. So I think our plan is to get to one of those golden fingers. And hope that that's enough to take him out before another one shows up. Because, yeah, there's probably going to be another. Uh, there's going to be another one or two of them that show up. Is you can't get hurt while you're in this mode. And you can more easily take them out this way. Get a lot of... Uh, A lot of um, deals on all out games recently, probably because of the the new show, which I haven't I haven't had a chance to launch it. I I don't have an Amazon account, so um, but it actually looks really good, and I've heard good things about it, which is nice because. It's a series that I've not super, I haven't gotten like super into, but I've played a bit of New Vegas and I've played, more recently I've played some of the original game. And the world is very fascinating, I do find it very interesting. So, but... I was reading a small article about all of the or about some of the uh, vaults and some of the really terrible things that terrible experiments that they would do in those in some of those vaults. It's just like you want people to survive, right? Like that—that's the entire point of the vaults, right? Really don't like these enemies, but we're almost done anyways. I can't actually hit it with my... Uh, such, such bullshit. The three chest. Cool. I think 
We got about 10 more seconds on this. And Stop pausing. Just... Yep. All right. And quit. So. All right. I think this is probably where we're going to put in a cut. Um, as you can see, we did uh, unlock the new character that we were missing. And in the next part, we will be doing Imposter Arena again. Well, Megalo Imposter Arena. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.